my name is Sarah Wood. I'm co-founder of Unruly. Uh, we're a, a global platform for social video advertising. Uh, we were founded in 2006 in Shoreditch and we now have 15 offices across 12 countries worldwide. The rise, the explosion of content marketing um, has really started to um, yes, pull down that wall, those silos between content and advertising. Um, so what we see is the best ads are content and they're great content in their own right. Uh, and brands that really want to make the most of the digital opportunity, brands that really want to engage their consumers on social uh, are taking the time and investing in creating fantastic ads that people want to watch, people want to share, that are as good as the content that follows them. That is a fantastic question and I've just been on a panel um, with Red Bull and of course Red Bull is a prime example of a brand that has become a media brand uh, and its advertising has changed and grown and evolved and become media in its own right uh, and it's now taking advertising against its own content so I think it's absolutely possible um, that advertising can be great content uh, and that brands can transform themselves through the power of their advertising. So that's um, a very interesting question. You would imagine that broad broadcasters who create awesome programming, this is known as the golden age of TV, uh, there's great TV content out there, but when it comes to promoting that content on digital, when it comes to engaging new audiences on social, they fall short of the mark. And their content just isn't resonating with audiences. And especially worryingly, it isn't resonating with a millennial audience. Uh, we have a white paper that we've just launched today. We've researched uh, the top broadcasters in the US and Europe to look at precisely what are the triggers that get millennials sharing TV content and what TV broadcasters need to do to improve their traction on digital. So um, Jimmy Kimmel goes down very well, millennials. Uh, and what we find is um, there are certain emotional triggers uh, that millennials respond really well to. Uh, one of those is happiness, uh, one of those is hilarity, and one of those is nostalgia. So advertisers and broadcasters that are looking to engage a millennial audience should think about creating content um, that is intensely uh, happy or funny or nostalgia. And I say intensely with emphasis because it's not about creating something that's quite funny um, or you know that just right raises a smile uh, it's really about making an intense emotional connection and then giving people lots of reasons to share that so it's interesting when you talk about the wild emphasis on sharing um, so I think the share is is the currency of social uh, and it's a measure of genuine engagement. So you can buy views, uh, and, and views are defined in different ways by different video platforms anyway, so if you're just measuring views, it's not really gonna tell you very much. It's a vanity metric, uh, or it's, yeah, it's, it's a metric of media spend. Measuring shares tells you how much a viewer has actually engaged with your content and how many viewers have gone on to recommend that content to their peers. Now why this is important is because uh, in, in broadcasting, if a millennial has uh, a TV promo shared with them, 80% of them will then go on and watch the show. So that's a great example of viewers becoming advocates and then driving new viewers, helping uh, broadcasters to grow their audiences. Uh, so that's one way of thinking about it. Uh, but importantly, I would say, let's think about valuable virality. So there's no point just having people sharing your content if nobody even knows who the brand is, for example. And we see lots of advertisers make this mistake. And they're almost worried or ashamed of their brand. And they think about adopting guerrilla tactics so that nobody will know it's an ad. Well, look, if the content is awesome and, it, and it's authentic to the brand and the brand is part of the story, that's not a problem. Uh, viewers don't care where the content comes from. They just want it to be awesome. I have really enjoyed listening to the keynote speakers. Um, it was so interesting to hear from Marcus over at the BBC. Um, he was explaining the future of the iPlayer. It's interesting to see how far it's come, how it's evolving. I'm really encouraging to see the focus on user uh, interface uh, and making everything as simple, frictionless and straightforward as possible for users and viewers.